Chris here from Games on Smash Tech once again. Um, in a previous video I said I'd be going over what I'm going to be doing to this PC. I'm revamping it, changing its guts. Um, so before I tell you what I'm going to put in it, let me tell you what I have in it. As for the motherboard, I have the uh, EVGA Enforce 570 SLITA. Um, it's a great budget motherboard, you know, if you're low on cash and you want something that works, um, it's SLI ready, it, it handles dual core, has four DIMM slots, dual channel RAM, I should say, um, I mean it worked out good, I never had issues with it. Um, as for the graphics card, unfortunately I have a GeForce uh, 8 series. I think I have the 8500 or 8400. It's an 8 series. Um, as for the CPU, I'm still running a Pentium D, unfortunately. Um, but that's about to change. I'm switching out. It's a Pentium D clocked at 2.66. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the motherboard for the uh, EVGA X58. I believe my eyes are really bad. That's right, the EVGA X58. Um, that'll also accommodate for the i7 uh, processor, quad core processor. The i7 that I want is the cheap one. It's not 700 bucks. I really can't afford that. Uh, it's about 300 bucks. Uh, it's clocked at 2.66, and you could overclock that to over 4 gigahertz. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, and the X58 motherboard will allow me to do that. So I'll be I'll, I'll be overclocking the i7 to about about three. So from 2.66 to probably 3.3.5, 3. 3. Yeah, anywhere between three and 3.5. I'm not going to go to four because I just don't have the coolant for that. Um, so the X58 motherboard is going in here. The the i7-920 CPU. Um, as for graphics, I'm updating the graphics to the two... S yeah, I thought so. To the EVGA GTX 260. Um, I think it's best worth its money. Uh, I'm not going to go balls out, you know, gaming-wise, but I want something that will handle uh, the games of today and tomorrow. So in my opinion, the GTX 260 will accommodate that. Um, if I want more power, I could always buy a second one uh, and SLI it because both the motherboard and the graphics card are both SLI compatible. So I'm going to be doing that. As well as for RAM, I'm going to start off with 6 gigs of Patriot Viper tri-channel RAM clocked at 13.33 megahertz. Um, so 6 gigs of RAM for start. The motherboard comes with uh, 6 DIMM slots, tri-channel. So I could, pro I could probably put, I'm probably going to end up putting 12 gigs of RAM, but I'm starting off with 6. Right now in here I have 3, so I'm going to double it. Um, this is clocked at, right now I think I have 3 gigs at 800 megahertz. Well, I'm going to go one further. I'm going to go 6 gigs of 1333 megahertz. And that'll be a little faster. So I'm saying. Um, so basically, that's it. I'm probably going to put a another hard drive in here. I want to go with the Velociraptor, but it's just out of my price range right now. Um, I'm going to get something, probably a terabyte terabyte more. I'm going to keep the one I have now plus a terabyte. Um, I'm going to get another external drive. I already filled one up. And uh, probably get another coolant. I'm going to get uh, one of those I don't know if it's PCI AGP or yeah I think it's a PCI or PCIe um, fan. What you do is you stick it into the uh, PCI slot. It powers up from that and it cools down your video card. What I have in it now is a 120 mil um, fan, case fan in the back, venting air out. This is a blue LED in it. I have 120 
millimeter fan in the front, venting cool air in, as well as I'm gonna with the new CPU I'm gonna change the CPU heatsink slash fan uh, to something a little better than this. This is a little uh, it's a little ghetto. And with that I'm gonna have you know I'm gonna have it like that. Basically I'm gonna have my cone over my CPU. This will vent air in, this will vent air out, and I'll have air coming around my uh, GTX 260. I have right now, I think this is a 8S, an 800 watt power supply. It's an ultra power supply. Um, it's worked good so far. I've already blown one. Um, that's why I have this one. So this is my second power supply. Hopefully it'll last. If it doesn't, well, I'll just upgrade, but I don't think I'll have to. So overall, this job will cost a thousand bucks. You've got uh, 350 for the CPU, 360 for the motherboard, 200 bucks for the graphics card, and another 130 bucks for the RAM, and about 30 or so odd bucks for the uh, for the extra fan I'm gonna be getting. So basically, that's it. As I get the parts, I'm going to be doing videos with you guys, how to install it, how to, you know, work with it, basically how to build your own PC. And um, I hope you guys enjoy it. I mean, I know I will. I can't wait for this. All you need is the money, son. Working my ass off. Got to pull that overtime. <laughs> Damn. I fucking hate overtime. But I'm going to do it. Thousand bucks. Give me... Uh, Give me six weeks. I should get it in six weeks. Alright, so stay tuned. Once again, this is Chris from Games on Smash. Peace.